Well, treasure seekers, as you can see, the fall is upon us, and we must plan for winter. Now, as you know, you can't all be treasure seekers all winter long. There's just not enough treasure to be had. All the dungeons shut down. It's hard to get into places, so we've come up with some new roles for some of you in the town that you'll have to choose from. So first off, there's still room for some of you to be treasure seekers, so if you've been happy seeking fortune and glory, you can continue to do so. Um, we still need to bring in some money into our coffers, so we still need some of you to go out and just continue what you're doing. But for those of you that are interested in the change, well, there's some new roles to be filled. We're looking for some bards, and the bards will help us to communicate with each other better. And so they will also be telling our stories and, and collecting information about how we're sharing with each other. We're going to be looking for some scholars who will be doing some research and going far afield and bringing that research back and helping us to improve our town. We're going to be looking for some engineers. Those engineers are going to be out there tweaking things and coming up with new ideas and trying things out. And finally, I've heard some chaos wizards they've set up on the border. you got to be careful of those chaos wizards. But if you're interested, they're currently taking applications. So you can go and try to show off your skills and see if you can join them to help patrol our borders. An alchemist has set up shop. So you may want to visit the alchemist, and that alchemist can help give you special powers, but I hear there may be a price. So hopefully you will find something that you're interested in doing, whether it be a treasure seeker, a bard, an engineer, a scholar, or a chaos wizard, and help us work together to build up this town and get us through this winter. So, hi there everyone. Welcome to part three of the class. So a little bit more in detail about what's going on. So this is the syllabus you all helped to create, and we've refined it. The immediate thing you need to do is choose a role, and the role is going to dictate two things. It'll dictate how you will participate in the class and what your final project will look like. Now. Everyone is doing the meaningful gamification assignment that's already been assigned where you're taking the system you've been working on all semester and you're going to now document that and explore the concepts of meaningful gamification on how to relate to that system. I know that most of you have actually already given up on your systems because of as you've learned about rewards and the problems with rewards you've decided it's not worth your time. So now what you're going to be doing is acting like a consultant and going to this company and offering up here's what you could do are ways to make what you're using more meaningful using the recipe format that I've talked about. But let's talk about the roles because this is a choice you need to make right away. First, Treasure Seeker. If you stay with Treasure Seeker then you will be participating at least twice in the forums each week and your final project is, as it was previously outlined, you can choose between an applied or a theoretical final paper. Bards. Bards, your course participation will be to host a synchronous chat every week for the remainder of the class. A one-hour synchronous chat. You can choose the platform. You can work with other bards. Up to three of you work together to co-host the chat if you'd like. Uh, there's a, if you'll need to check in in the bards area of Blackboard and coordinate when you're going to do your, uh, your chats. Ideally, you'll find a time where you can do it every week, every, say, Tuesday at 3 o'clock Eastern. It'd be great if we had at least one chat during the day, one chat at night, and one chat on the weekends. Uh, so this, this response to some of you wanting to have more synchronous activities, that's the role of the bards. The other part the bards are responsible for is for uh, archiving those chats and sharing them with the rest of us. So when you think about what platform you want to use, whether it's Adobe Connect, which we have through the university, through Blackboard, through Twitter, whatever you use needs to be archivable. The VARD's final project is going to be to make a 30-minute video teaching us about something. And so that video can be a talking head video, that can be your voice over slides, but you're going to be making a 30-minute video along with a print bibliography. That's going to be your final project. Scholars. As a scholar, what you will be doing for your class participation each week is finding something that is in a different discipline out there related to motivation through games and play and bringing it back to the class. And you're going to be presenting that with a reasonable write-up on why it's interesting, uh, giving us the basic idea of what is going on in there and pointing us to that resource. You'll be doing that for each week of class as your participation. Your final project is a theoret theoretical paper where you should reach into your own discipline, because I know I have students from many different disciplines, look into your discipline to talk about how your discipline can use motivation through games and play. For our engineers out there, your participation in the class is going to be to look at games or gamification platforms. So you're going to be looking for other games 
or methods of play or things that have interesting ideas we could use. And you'll be doing a post each week in the discussion forums about this other resource, whether you make a video of yourself playing through it, you find a video of a playthrough, you point us to a link where we can play it, but your idea each week is bringing us a different game or resource to the class explaining why it's interesting. You're going to find a forum where you all can coordinate your efforts so that you're not duplicating what you're presenting to the class. The engineer's final project is going to be to create your own gamification system from scratch based on the topic of the gamification system you've been looking at all semester, but you're building your own using the things we've talked about in this class. That leaves us with our Chaos Wizards. Chaos Wizards, you have the final portion of the class and you tell me what it is you want to do. It can be some combination of what you've heard. It can be your own ideas. It's really up to you. And so you will put that together. You have 35% of the class grade to play with. You will propose that to me. We'll bounce back and forth. The goal is for you to um, demonstrate your, your a mastery of motivation through games and play. So you can use what you've heard. You can use your own ideas. You can make seven assignments all worth 5%. You can make one assignment worth 35%. It's up to you to choose and develop it. And then you'll present that to me, and that'll be a learning contract between us. So uh, the Chaos Wizard is really you create what you want to create. Finally, there's an extra credit assignment available to everyone to help make up for the chaos we've gone through the course so far, where you can choose and take on a second final project from one of these other categories. That'll be due one week after the final projects are due. Um, that will give you up to 10% of your grade uh, based upon how well you do. So the alchemist, if you look in class, there's the alchemist shop. And so the alchemist offers potions. Each of you can have one potion that you can use once during the semester. Some of the potions have a, a, a side effect and some do not. For example, one potion will give you an extra 48 hours to be late on an assignment. However, the side effect is that you have to do another one of the roles participation activities in class during the next week. So some of them have a cost, some of them don't. One of the potions allows you to redo a project from earlier in the semester that you chose not to redo at the time. That does not have a cost. However, the alchemist will also make a custom potion. So if you have your own idea for a special ability you'd like and something to offset it, propose that to me. Once we've accepted your special potion, that will become a standard potion for anyone else in the class to take and use. You can buy these potions. You can use them when you need to. You get one for the rest of the semester, but you can wait until you need it before you have to pick it out. So you can wait until you're going to be late on an assignment, or you can wait until you're going to have an overwhelming week and you want to put that week off. Those, so those are options that you have with your potions. So hopefully there's enough there to get going. Your immediate tasks. Read through the syllabus document that you'll find in the syllabus area of Blackboard. Decide which of these five roles you want to take on for the class. Find the discussion board for that role and sign in. If you're part of the Bards, you'll want to immediately begin negotiating about when you're wanting to do your live chat so we can get those going as quickly as possible. Group work. If you wish for either for either of the big projects or both of the big projects, for the final project and the extra credit project, you may choose to work with a group of people who are also working on that same type of project. It's up to you. Just know that if you choose to go into a group of up to three people, my expectations will be higher for what you'll be producing. And I won't be getting involved if there are any group problems. So only choose to go in a group if it's with people that you trust. You can't work with the same group for both of those assignments. So you might want to choose to do one as a solo assignment, the other as a group assignment. It's up to you. You'll find discussion boards in each of the five role areas to help you coordinate with other people who might be interested in working in a group project. So hopefully that's enough to get going for the final third of the class. It's been an exciting ride, and I look forward to seeing what our town will produce. Take care, and bye-bye.